resultant of more than two forces. Let's do example two. First, we can draw a component diagram. So we're going to resolve these forces into the x direction and the y direction. So we resolve this 5 Newton. So to the right is 5 cosine 60 degrees. Vertically up is 5 sine 60 degrees. Then we got 1 Newton acting to the right, so that's just itself. Then we resolve 10 Newtons, so to the right is 10 cosine 30 degrees, downwards 10 sine of 30 degrees. Then we got the force acting upwards, so so that's 4. Force acting to the left is 2. Now we find the sum in the x direction and the y direction. So we have 5 cosine 60 plus 1 plus 10 cosine 30 minus 2. Now we use our calculator, we get the answer to be 10.1603. Now we find the sum in the y direction. 4 plus 5 sine 60 degrees, then minus 10 sine of 30 degrees and from the calculator we get the answer to be 3.3013 3 now these sums now we draw a vector diagram So the force and <coughs> the vector to the right is three point three zero one three. And then the vector in the positive y direction is ten point one six zero three. So this is our starting position. This is the position we finish at. Now we join these two points and this is our resultant R. This is 90 degrees, so we use the Pythagoras. So R is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. So 3.3013 squared plus 10.1603 whole squared. And we get the final answer for three significant figures 10.7. So therefore, the resultant. equal to 10.7 Newtons. So draw a component diagram, find the sum in the x direction, find the sum in the y direction, draw a vector diagram, and then find the result. Let's do example 3. First we have to draw a force diagram. So
So we have a force, 12 Newton, and the direction, north 30 degree west. So this is north, then 30 degree west. This is 12 Newton. It makes 30 degrees with the vertical and it makes 60 degrees with the horizontal. So this angle is 60 degrees. And then we have the force of 10 Newtons and the direction north 60 degree east. So north, then 60 degree east. This is 10 Newton. So the angle with the vertical is 60 degree now. So therefore the angle with the horizontal is 30. And then we got force 4 Newton southeast. So southeast would be right in the middle. This would make the horizontal 45 degrees. Now we draw a component diagram. So the component of this 10 Newton, 10, also in 30, in the y direction. 10 sine 30. Then we have component of the 4 Newton. Four cosine 45 in the extraction. In the negative y direction 4 sine of 45. Then we resolve 12 newtons. Negative extraction 12 cosine 60. In the positive y direction sine with 12 times sine 60. Now we find the sum, x is equal to 10, cosine 30, plus 4, cosine 45, minus 12, cosine 60. And we get the total to be added, 5 point. Four eight eight seven. Now we find the sum in the y direction. Twelve sine sixty plus ten sine thirty minus four sine forty five. And we get the answer twelve point five six three nine. Now we can draw a vector diagram. So the x so the vector in the x direction has length. 5.4887 then from here we draw the y direction vector which is 12.5639 this is our starting position that's where we finish therefore we join these two points 
So our resultant is this. So we use the five servers. Five point four eight eight should be seven there eh? squared plus twelve point five six three nine squared add take the square root we get the answer to be thirteen point seven so therefore the resultant equal to 13.7 Newton.